Welcome back to the official Zap hosting YouTube channel, my name is Sally and today I will show you how you can order a dedicated server from us, set it up easily and show you around our and ILO interface, so let's get started. First, as always, visit our website zapminushosting.com and login into your Zap account. If you don't have an account yet, you can register here for free. After logging in, navigate to the dedicated servers tab and click on it. Here, click on the green start button. You can now see all the available dedicated servers we have with the specifications provided like CPU, RAM, storage, availability and more. Select the server you prefer, choose your operating system, select how many IP addresses you need and place an order. Your server will be up in just a minute, but please keep in mind that if we do not have the server we chose in stock, it can take up to 5 working days to build it and deliver it to you. You will now be greeted with the first time installation instructions. Click on call up installation instructions. You will now need to enable ILO on your server. To do that, make sure your server is online. If it is offline, simply click on the green start button to power it on. Once your server is online, click on the enable ILO button and wait for it to fully load. Once ILO is online, you will see a text saying yes where the online status is located. You will now need to install an operating system on your server. For this video, I will be choosing Windows 2019 Data Center Edition. After selecting your preferred operating system, click on the insert button and wait for it to load. Once it is loaded, click on boot from ISO and your server will restart automatically. Once it is back online, click on open ILO. A new page should open where you have to log in with your credentials. You can find your username and the password by navigating back to the Zap interface right here. Simply copy and paste the credentials and click on login. After logging in, make sure you're on the overview tab. Here find the integrated remote console and click on the HTML5 option. A new window should open with the installation process of Windows. Here click on next. Now click on install now. You can now activate Windows if you have a product key. Just click on I don't have a product key and continue if you don't. You will now need to select the operating system you like, but please select desktop experience otherwise your Windows will be shell based. Agree with the terms and click on next. Now choose custom. Here it is required to create a partition of your dedicated server. Click on new, then apply and ok. A new partition will be created and after that click on next. Windows will now begin the installation on the machine, so please be patient as it can take several minutes to install depending on your system. After Windows finishes installing, you will need to create a password forced by Windows. Please keep in mind that if you forget a password, there is no way to recover it, so be sure to write it down and secure it safely. When you are happy with your password, click on Finish. You can now fully access the machine. Navigate your mouse to the upper left corner, press the keyboard icon, click on Ctrl plus Alt plus Delete button and log in with the password you just created. The last thing to do here if you want to access the machine with the remote desktop app is to open Windows Explorer, right-click on this PC, choose Properties, open Remote Settings, click Allow Remote connection to this computer, accept the incoming firewall information by pressing OK and click Apply. You can now successfully connect to this machine from your PC. Let me show you how to do it. Open the Remote Desktop Connection app on your PC. Click on Show Options. In the Computer tab, copy and paste the IP to your server, which you can find in your Zap interface. The username will always be administrator by default. Now click Connect and type the password, which is the one you defined earlier. Click OK. You have now successfully connected to your dedicated server using the remote desktop app. Now let me quickly show you what you will find in your Zap and ILO interface. In your Zap interface, in the dashboard, you will find all needed information like server IP, hostname, password and more. You can also enable or disable ILO, see the system temperature, fan speed and traffic. In the statistics tab, you get a complete overview of the machine. On the hardware tab, you will find the current status of your hardware like CPU, RAM, storage and more. Here we have game server and TeamSpeak tab. If you want to learn how to use it, check out our other YouTube videos. Lastly, ILO and ISO tab. Here you can see all the information about ILO, attach different ISO if wanted and define the boot order. Now let's move to the ILO interface. ILO itself has many features and I will only show the most important ones. Here in the overview tab, we can see all the information about the host machine, see the health status and if needed by clicking on HTML5 you can access the device remotely. You can also find the event log, management log, diagnostics and more. In the virtual media tab you can boot a remote host server. In the power management tab you can find information about your power consumption. 
choose between power saving and high performance modes to get the most out of your dedicated server. And that's it for today. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact our support by creating a ticket on our website or live chat and they will be more than happy to help you out. Now, have a lovely rest of the week and enjoy a new dedicated server provided by Zap Hosting.